TV feud controversy. Eamon Holmes stands firm, unrepentant after marriage to Ruth Langsford. Eamon Holmes reportedly feels no remorse regarding his actions, which may have played a role in his marriage's dissolution with Ruth Langsford. In May, the outspoken TV host and Ruth ended their 27-year relationship. The couple, who famously co-hosted programs such as This Morning, were together for 14 years and share a 22-year-old son, Jack. However, it seems that Eamon's growing animosity toward his former This Morning colleague, Philip Schofield, along with his frustration over being let go from ITV, contributed to a challenging environment for Ruth, who continues to appear regularly on Loose Women. A source close to Eamon, who is now dating 42-year-old Katie Alexander, claims the presenter stands by his public remarks, which likely did not improve his marriage. As reported by Birmingham Live, the insider noted that Eamon's long-standing disdain for Philip became particularly public towards the end of his marriage, deepening the fractures in his relationship with Ruth. According to the Daily Mail, the insider stated, Eamon's dislike for Philip has existed for a long time, but it became very public at the end of his marriage to Ruth. And as his hatred for him and ITV grew, the cracks in their relationship grew deeper. The source also highlighted Ruth's discomfort, mentioning, Ruth became a bit dismayed at Eamon for making repeated digs at ITV after they were axed from this morning. Ruth wasn't over the moon about it, but given she was still a cemented member of the Loose Women family, it made things somewhat awkward for her to have Eamon criticizing ITV. Additionally, the insider revealed Eamon's intense feelings toward Philip Schofield, asserting, Eamon loathes Philip and has no regrets about what he said and certainly doesn't think he threw him under the bus. He doesn't regret any of his behavior. He believes he, Phil, is addicted to fame and he can't believe he's attempted to relaunch himself with his documentary last week. The source went on to say that Eamon aims to move forward with his life, expressing no desire for reconciliation. Eamon is trying to move on with his life and has no plans to ever make it up with Philip. The rivalry between the two television personalities has intensified, leading to what has been described as one of the bitchiest feuds in showbiz, with both reportedly making efforts to avoid one another. The feud's origins can be traced back to a 2019 live broadcast incident in which Phil interrupted Ruth on air, prompting her to file a formal complaint. Phil had interjected, stating, Guys, we're going to have to jump in there and stop you I'm afraid because we're a bit tight for time at this end. Thank you Ruth, to which Ruth responded, Well, I only had about two more words to say, before visibly dropping her pen in frustration. In a major shift in 2021, Ruth and Eamon were replaced on this morning by Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary for the Friday slot after a 15-year tenure. While Ruth has kept quiet publicly about their departure, Eamon has been outspoken about the lack of communication regarding their exit. Representatives for both Ruth and Eamon have been contacted by the Mirror for further comments on the situation. Title. Eamon Holmes stands firm amidst TV feud controversy following marriage to Ruth Langsford. Introduction The world of daytime television has been rocked by a controversy involving prominent TV personality Eamon Holmes and his wife, fellow presenter Ruth Langsford. Holmes, known for his candid demeanor and forthright opinions, has recently found himself at the center of a public feud that has sparked debate among fans, industry insiders, and fellow broadcasters. As the dust settles, Holmes remains unapologetic, standing firm in his views and his relationship with Langsford. Background Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford have been a staple of British television since they began hosting, this morning, together in the early 2000s. Their on-screen chemistry and relatable banter made them fan favorites, leading to numerous accolades and a loyal audience. However, their recent foray into social media and public discussions has unearthed underlying tensions, prompting both support and criticism from the public and media alike. The feud the controversy ignited after a series of social media posts by Holmes wherein he expressed his frustrations regarding the state of the television industry and his fellow presenters. His comments, perceived by some as disparaging, have led to a wave of backlash. Critics argue that Holmes' remarks are unprofessional and undermining, especially in a landscape that is increasingly scrutinized for workplace dynamics and mental health issues. In a particular post that drew ire, Holmes stated, Television has lost its charm. It's all about the likes and not the laughs anymore. This sentiment resonated with many viewers but also sparked a divide, with some industry veterans defending the new direction of television while others aligned with Holmes' nostalgia for traditional broadcasting values. Holmes' response in the face of mounting criticism, Eamon Holmes has stood his ground, asserting his right to express his opinions freely. In a recent interview, he remarked, I'm not here to sugarcoat things. 
The industry is changing, and not always for the better. I love what I do, and I want to see it thrive, not become a hollow shell of what it once was. Moreover, Holmes has emphasized the importance of authenticity in television, arguing that presenters should be allowed to voice their opinions without fear of retribution. If we can't have honest conversations, then what's the point? He questioned, signaling his commitment to transparency in the industry. Support from Ruth Langsford Ruth Langsford has been notably supportive of her husband throughout the controversy. In interviews, she has echoed Holmes' sentiments about the need for authenticity in broadcasting. Eamon has always been someone who speaks his mind. I admire that about him, she stated, further solidifying their united front amidst the media storm. Langsford herself has been a subject of scrutiny, with some commentators questioning how her husband's comments reflect on her own career. However, she has dismissed these notions insisting that their personal and professional lives are distinct. We're both professionals in our own right. Eamon's views are his own, she asserted, maintaining her independence while supporting her spouse. Public reaction The public reaction to the feud has been mixed. Supporters of Holmes praise his honesty and willingness to tackle uncomfortable topics within the television industry. Social media has seen a surge of fans rallying behind him, using hashtags like hashtag stand with Eamon to express solidarity. Conversely, critics argue that Holmes' approach is counterproductive, potentially alienating younger audiences who have different expectations from television. Industry analysts suggest that such generational divides could have long-term implications for broadcasting as a whole. Industry impact The fallout from this controversy is being closely monitored by industry insiders. With changing viewer habits and the rise of digital content, the traditional broadcasting model faces unprecedented challenges. Experts believe that discussions like those initiated by Holmes are crucial for the evolution of the industry. Furthermore, the controversy has sparked a broader dialogue about the responsibilities of television presenters. Should they be held accountable for their public statements? How can they balance personal opinions with professional obligations? These questions remain at the forefront of discussions surrounding the future of broadcasting. Conclusion As the controversy unfolds, Eamon Holmes continues to stand firm in his beliefs supported by Ruth Langsford and a segment of the viewing public. Their marriage, often highlighted by their chemistry on screen, is now a focal point in a larger discussion about the state of television. While opinions remain divided, one thing is clear. Holmes is not backing down, and his willingness to challenge the status quo could herald a new era in the television landscape. The future of broadcasting may depend on conversations like these, as the industry grapples with its identity and purpose in an increasingly digital world. Whether fans will rally behind Holmes and Langsford or look for new voices remains to be seen, but their presence in the media landscape is undoubtedly significant. As this saga continues to unfold, viewers and industry professionals alike will be watching closely, eager to see how it all plays out and what it means for the future of television.